Hey guys, this is Sean Sandridge coming to you with my Jumpstart January video. So <clears throat> I have uploaded my Married to Medicine review. I hope you like it. I was rushing, rushing like crazy to get the review out to you guys. But no lie, this Friday review is rough because... It's just Friday is such a busy day for me work wise and um, I just it completely escaped my mind so I got my whole day well let me just re let me just rewind a little bit oh one this is for Nay Rob I've got my red lipstick on and my red lipstick is by Mary Kay, is Rouge Red. So that I'm wearing my lipstick so that I'm mindful of heart disease. And also it's a good anchor to remind me that I made a commitment to be more mindful and to, you know, take some time out to, you know, pamper myself. So I'm going to do my nails if I don't fall asleep because it's almost 930 at night. And I just got home. Well, I didn't just get home, but I just got my son home from wrestling. So I just want to just kind of decompress from my night, if that's okay with you, and just join in with a little chit-chat. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So got up at 3.30 this morning because my son had to be at the school at 4.30. He woke me up at 3.30, I guess extremely eager. Um, we didn't have to leave until 410 because I was picking up another boy to take to school and then I couldn't really go back to sleep got on the periscope saw Alexander Rogers hey Alex and uh, saw him briefly and then I decided I was gonna go to the gym but I had just got back from the gym like 10 o'clock the night before and so I thought, you know what, maybe I should lay down because it's going to be a long night, long day. I had no idea how long it was going to be, but I did finally lay down. And before I knew it, it was 730. And I think I may have gotten about 25 minutes of sleep. So, yeah. So uh, my boy did really good, um, but they, they, they screwed him over. Someone wasn't paying attention. Um... He lost one and he pinned one and you're supposed to go to the next round. The people who was handling the paperwork didn't put his name down as the person that was supposed to pass through. They had the losing opponent go. And so when they recognized that he had not wrestled, it was too late. So they weren't, it wasn't even an opportunity for him to uh, wrestle in his weight class again. So he got a missed opportunity to move to a place where he would have actually placed for the first time. So he had an opportunity to place ninth. And because someone wasn't paying attention to the paperwork, you, you know, let the boy who didn't even win the round advance. So uh, he was really disappointed, but my son has a very good spirit. And, um, he took it all in stride, but he had a really strong day and the coach is really proud of him that, you know, he is really the most improved. And for someone who has never wrestled at all, he comes in every morning to work out. He stays late. Um, any opportunity where there's extra workout time, he's doing it. He's working out at home. I can't tell you how many times we've gone to Dick's Sporting Goods to get more weights and more equipment for him to work out at home. He's running. He's dropped so much weight. I think when he first started, he weighed like 156. And now he's down to 144 and he's really, really leaned out. And um, he's showing confidence and, you know, all the things that a coach wants for a, an athlete is to mentor them in a way where the athlete um, accepts uh, the training, trusts their training, you know, um, you know, listens to the advice and then apply it. So, you know, he's doing all the right stuff. So um, he was bummed out, but he's a good sportsman about it. And uh it was a long day. 
we left once we realized he wasn't going to wrestle again. We left because we didn't have a reason to stay. And uh, I think I got home about six ish and then did some things, ate some dinner and then re watched the move, watched the Married to Medicine and didn't then did the review and he got to the school about 8 30 so yeah it's been a long 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 day but a very accomplished day um for the boy so that's good i wanted to i'm i'm sitting here talking to you and my screen is going and there's this comment uh saying that uh Drake is falling in love with J-Lo, that he's falling hard. You know, can you think of any situation celebrity-wise where someone had a, a childhood crush where that happened? It didn't work out for Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey. It didn't work out for Tom Cruise and, um, oh, what's the ladies, what's the girl's name? Well, you know who he was married to last. She was talking, gushing how she got engaged to Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise was, you know, a poster on her wall. I mean, it, it, falling in love with your crush like that when, I don't know, it just seems weird. Uh, it didn't work for Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. Evidently, he had a crush on her. Not quite the same, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know. It seems weird. And then in uh, reality news um, for the Real Housewives of New York, uh, Countess Luann de Lesseps got married to her controversial fiance uh, from last season. I think they got married either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I think they were having a New Year's Eve um, marriage, a wedding. And New Year's Eve is when uh, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith were married. So I think they're on their 12th wedding anniversary by now, maybe a bit longer. I know they're high in the double, I know they're up there in the double digits. So, so I've done my reviews. So let's talk about some things. So, you know, I know that this, I know that the reality show is a, is a job for the ladies. And I was thinking about, you know, Mariah, how she seemed to be so testy and felt like everybody was singling, singling her, her out. And all I could think of in my head was, there's a saying that when you are a hammer, everything is a nail, which means that, you know, when you are so laser focused, that there's no other way you can see something. If you are a hammer, everything that you apply is a nail that you just have to just go gung ho, one dimensional, this tunnel vision. And although some people may say, because her quad and her are having this this diva showdown moment and that things could be construed as being shady this is how I know that I would not do well in reality show because I for one would not think that quad decided to show up late for the fact of showing up late I guess she could and make a make it about her since people think Mariah makes things about her I think Mariah makes things about her but I'm thinking it's Hawaii and I don't know what you do when you're with your significant other when you first get in the room but I'm just saying after you have taken the jet lag uh, off the body you've had a few drinks you've had a little downtime maybe a little cat nap would it be so far-fetched that her husband and her were doing things what married couples do before they meet with everybody else I mean is that so far-fetched or are we always going to knee jerk and say someone's being shady because they want to upstage someone else sometimes it is what it is and I'm just going to err on the side that you know let's face it quad and Dr. G has had her family and a baby in the house for quite some time the running around naked in the house that they could do before has been on lockdown, okay? Now they can run around in their suite. They don't have to worry about the brother stacking his money, the girlfriend, the baby, all that stuff, the practice, the puppy couture. All that stuff is just 
it's, it's back there in Atlanta and we are in Hawaii and let's just take on, this is a working vacation. Yeah, we're working to film, but this is a vacation and we're just going to let our hair down. You know, I think Quad would be trying to, you know, uh, throw it on him and, and do what married people do, do what couples do when they get someplace and have a good time. I don't know. That's how I see it. I know that's what I would do. I'd be like, listen, I know y'all said dinner, but you know, my husband had other plans and I'm sorry. What are we talking about and where's the food? That's, that's how I would have been. That's how I would have been. I wouldn't have been thinking about being shady, which goes to show that I know that I am not good reality TV. I'm too level-headed and too open-minded and too laissez-faire about stuff. I don't sweat it. You got to sweat it. You got to drag it out. And speaking of dragging it out, I was thinking, because here we are, episode nine. And we're going to be on episode 10 and uh, leading previews about Dr. Darren. I'm starting to think that maybe they're selling their marriage for a plot line. And when the re reunion come, I really want Andy to ask the burning question. Lisa, why is it so many of the ladies take jabs at Dr. Darren and you never, ever shut it down? Because please leave it in the comments and let me know, has she ever told them, my husband is not gay? He's not gay. Whenever it comes up, she just goes mute. So either they have in cahoots decided that we're going to let this be a plot line or she's throwing her husband under the bus by being silent. And frankly, as a married woman, to each their own, but it sounds a little unsavory. I don't know. Reality show is so fleeting, but you've got the rest of your life and you've got your children and you've got your family and loved ones to see this all play out. I would like to think, because I value people's relationships, not just marriage, but people's relationships, that they wouldn't sell them down the river for a plot line to stay relevant or whatever. I mean, if Lisa Nicole was was balling like that before Married to Medicine, this show could leave tomorrow and she should still be okay. So I would like to not think that fame would make you do that, but I don't know. I know it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a potent thing to have a little bit of fame. So, what else can we talk about? Mm, I talked about yeah, I think that's all I had to talk about. So I got a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to do what I always do on Sunday, go to church. And then uh, my daughter wants to go to one of those dining things, um, dining uh, movie places where you get the really good food. So we will probably be in downtown Chicago for that. It's supposed to be later on in the afternoon. I'm tired. But we're going to finally celebrate the girl's 18th birthday and have a good time. And yeah, I'm hoping to see the new Jamie Foxx movie. I'm going to try to convince her to see that. So if I do, my Jumpstart January will probably be the review on that. I, really, I think it's called Restless and it came out today. So I really, really, really want to see that. So, all right, Jumpstart January. Take care of yourself and each other. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.